Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Intro to Robo. In my last video, we made projects using sensors. Today, we will start with text coding. So first, let us learn about the five common data types. First is the string. String is a collection of characters. The alphabets can be both in uppercase and lowercase. They are written inside double quotes. Symbols such as exclamatory, percentage, dollar or can also be considered as string if they are written inside double quotes. Even numbers which are written inside double quotes are considered as strings. The next is a character. Character is written as char. A single alphabet which is a lowercase or an uppercase are considered to be as characters. They are written inside single quotes. The next one is integers which is written as int. All positive and negative numbers are integers. Floats. All decimals such as 0.1 or 0.2 are floats. Finally, boolean. It is nothing but true or false. If the condition is true, then the code is executed. Otherwise, it is omitted. Now, I will show you guys how to obtain an output in the serial monitor. So, go to code and change it to text. Press on continue. Here you can see that there are two words. One is the word setup and the other is the word loop. The code in the word setup is executed once. The code in the word loop is executed several times until the code becomes false. So first we will write serial big dot begin. To do so we will first remove this code. Now we will type serial dot begin in the word setup. In brackets, we'll put 9600, then close the brackets and a semicolon in the end. What this code means is that it will start a communication between the Arduino and the serial monitor at 9600 BPS, that is bytes per second. So now we will write a code to find out how many bits is each data type. Before that, I would like to show you how to print something on the serial monitor. Let's say that we want to print ABCD on the serial monitor. ABCD is a string that is a collection of characters. So now to do so, we will write the code serial.print. And then in brackets, ABCD. We know that uh, ABCD is a string, so we will put them inside double quotes and a semicolon in the end. Now we will start the simulation. You can open the serial monitor and you can see that ABCD is printed here. Now let's say that we want to type AB in one line and CD in another line. Then our code will be serial dot print ln and in double bra brackets and double quotes ab close the double quotes and the brackets and put a semicolon in the end then in the next line we will write serial print open the brackets and double quotes cd close the double quotes and the bracket and semicolon in the end we need to put ln in the previous line so that cd can be print, uh, printed in the new line. Let us run the simulation. You can see that abcd is printed again because we do not erase the, the previous code. And then ab is printed here in the end. And in the other line we can see that in the new line cd is printed. So now let us write a code to see how many bytes is each data type so now first you will clear the serial monitor and stop the simulation and remove this code to make the new code so now serial print ln open brackets and we will write size of then open another bracket and write bool 
close the first bracket and the second bracket and type colon then we will write the same code with different data types so I'll just copy paste the same code and just change the data types in them we will put integer characters string and the last one is float So our code to find the number of uh, the size of the each data type is ready. Now we will run the simulation. So you can open the serial monitor and see the number of bits for each data type. Bool is one bit, integer integer is two bits, character is one bit, string string is six bits, and float is four bits. Here I would like to tell you something, string is a collection of characters, it is not a keyword and hence is written in black color unlike the other data types which is written in blue. It takes 6 bytes because the word string has 6 characters or letters. So now I will teach you guys how to make a variable. I have removed the previous code and also cleared the serial monitor. So now let us make a variable a, int a. Now we declared the variable or made a variable which is an integer. Now we will initialize it. Int a is equals to 4. Initialize means to assign a value to the variable and then put a semicolon in the end. Let us now print the value in the serial monitor. Serial print. Open brackets and type a without any quote double quotes or single quotes and a semicolon in the end now you can run the simulation open the serial monitor you can see the value 4 here now let us take another in variable int b and I'll again initialize it I am assigning value 5 to the variable b Now I am going to print a into b. Before running the simulation, I will clear the serial monitor. Now let me start the simulation. You can see the value 20 that is 4 into 5. You can similarly change the symbol, make it addition, subtraction or division to see the value in the serial monitor. Now let me show you an example of a coding conversation using different data types. So first you can see that I have made different variables using different data types. String name, name is the variable which is a string and I have assigned it as chocolates in double quotes. And then cost is another variable which is an integer and is equals to 100. Char section is a character which is equal to D. Trans fat is a float which is equal to 1.5 and then you can see the conversation which I have written. You can practice this and also the operations between other variables and print them in the serial monitor. So you can see that this is a conversation between a customer and a shopkeeper. First the customer asks where they can find then I have printed the name that was a variable and I was I had assigned it chocolates then the question mark then in the new line I have printed the response of the shopkeeper you can find it in the deserts or and then the section which was another variable and it was assigned as D and I again printed it and the customer's response to the shopkeeper's answer and then we printed after a while which is a string and then again the customer's question to the shopkeeper my god the chocolates are costly a tiny bar costs 
and then the cost which was another variable and it was assigned as 100 and then the rest of the conversation between the shopkeeper and the customer let me run the simulation so you can read the complete conversation in the serial monitor so you can see that the customer says where i can find the chocolates the shopkeeper says you can find it in the deserts of the d section the customer replies thank you then after a while the customer says my god the chocolates are costly a tiny bar costs 100 and the trans fat is above one percent so unhealthy then there's a shopkeeper's reply oh dear we are extremely sorry we are unaware of it it is true that this product is costly and unhealthy we shall remove such products kindly forgive us so you can see that i have used all, all the kinds of data types which we learned in my video in this conversation you guys can also make such conversations and practice Watch my previous videos to learn how to open an account in Tinkercad and also to learn block coding and make projects using sensors. So we have come to the end of my video. Hope you guys liked it. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comment section. Bye.